Hey, what's up, guys? This is Sean. Today, I'm gonna introduce you the Ember JS. I will first show you what is it, why we're using it, and I give you a quick demo of the web application we're gonna build in together from scratch. And then I will teach you how to set up and get up and running. So first of all, what is the Ember JS? As what their homepage said, it's a framework for ambitious web developers. And Ember is a productive battle-tested JavaScript framework for building modern web applications. It includes everything you need to build rich UIs that works in any devices. And with that being said, it's just like you can do whatever you want. So why Ember? Why we choose Ember compared with other UI framework? Let's look at who's using it first, such as Linkin.com, Microsoft, Apple, especially Apple Music, and then Netflix, Heroku, Square, etc. etc. A lot of big companies are using Ember. If you want to work for them as a front-end software engineer, you will need to know Ember. Besides that, Ember is easy to learn and it has a very cool CLI tool which can help you to init a project, create the files you need it with the blueprint, and then can easily host a web page on your local machine. Ember also has a very useful data management system to help you organize your data on the client side and communicate with the server. Additionally, Ember also has a variety of the add-ons you can use. We have a very large community and forum. Any question you have is already being answered if you just search online. So the next topic is what is in this tutorial. I will teach you how to use Ember CLI, understanding the routing system, create and use the components, inject the services, understand and write your own helpers, leverage Ember data to manage your information, last but not least, the testing, which is very important if you write production code because you don't want your app crashed after you add some new features. And here is a quick demo of what we're going to build throughout these courses, an e-commerce website. As you can see, there's the two items on the homepage with the image, title, rating, and also the discounted price. And also there's a shopping cart on the top right. So if you click on one of the items, it will jump into the items detail page with the description and also the features. And you should be able to click on the button to switch the color and then add it into the car. And let's add the another color, like black into car as well. So we're back to the home page and go to another product. If you click on uh, the image, it will zoom in to see more details. And then also we add this into cart as well. So let's go to the shopping cart page. All the items we just added are all this in here with uh, aggregated subtotal and plus the tax. And we can change the quantity of the item and we can just remove it by clicking the remove button. Well, before we start it, there's something you need to know, like the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, plus the Node.js. But you don't necessarily need to be an expert in the Node.js. You just need to know how to install the dependency, use the NPM, which is the Node Package Manager. Besides that, it's good to know SAS, a CSS preprocessor, and the Bootstrap, a CSS library to help you building your prototype quickly. Let's make sure you have your Node.js and NPM installed in your system. You can go to the nodejs.org to download it and install. After you finish that, you can type in the node-v and npm-v in your terminal to check the version. And then let's install the Ember CLI by running npm install-g ember-cli. The dash g means we're going to install the CLI2 globally that we can use in any place. And also you can run the ember-v to make sure it's installed correctly. So the version in here might be different, depends on when you watch this video. The next thing is to have your IDE or text editor ready. I'm using the Visual Studio Code. You can choose whatever you want. And there are some useful extension in the VS Code that I recommend, such as the ember.js and handlebars code snippets and the ember snippets. The next one is a very powerful browser extension tool called Ember Inspector, which is available in both Chrome and Firefox. I will demonstrate how to use it during these courses. So everything seems good to go. Let's set up our workspace. We can create a directory called emberjs-tutorial, cd into it, 
and open the VS Code. So here is our workspace, which basically nothing in there. The first thing we're going to do is using the Ember CLI we just installed and run Ember in it. It will generate an application structure in the current directory and it will take times to install all the dependencies. After everything is complete, let's look at our file structure. The app folder is the main folder we'll be focused on. It includes all the logics, templates, and styles, which is our source folder. The config folder includes some configuration information, like your environment's variable will be set up in here. And the next is the public folder, which store all your static files, like images or some documents. And then the test folders, which obviously includes all your testing files. And the last one is the vendor folder, which you can put your third party libraries in here. So the next thing we're going to do is to add the jsconfig.json file. It indicates the current workspace is a JavaScript project and has some benefits supported by the JavaScript language server. So we need to first set up our compiler options and then set the targets to ES2015, which is ES6. And then we need to set up our experimental decorators to choose because we're going to have a lot of uh, decorators in the Ember project. And then don't forget to exclude the node module and the disk folder. All right, it's time to push up our project and get it up and running. You can do npm start or ember serve, or you can just simply do ember s. So the ember CLI will grab all the files and compiles and host in our local machine. After build finished, let's go to the local host 4200. You will see the startup page. So let's change all this to our own stuff. So we go to the app, templates, application.hbs. So HBS stands for handlebars. It's 90% the same with the HTML with some extra features. And as you can see here, we have the welcome page elements, and this is an Ember component. Let's remove this and change to our own message. Let's say my application and save it. So the Ember CLI will pick up all the changes and help us to re reload the page. So we want to make our page look nicer. We will need to install the Bootstrap and Phone Awesome. So we go to the bootstrapcdn.com and just copy this link into our index.html and also the font awesome. Similarly, we open this and copy the link and then paste it in here. It's back to our page and then after we save index.html, you will see uh, the fonts just updated. Let's try to change some styles. We can go to styles, app.css, and we can change the body background color into red and save it. You can see the styles updated in here. But what if we wanted to use the sus, like the SCSS? Let's change the extension to SCSS. And if we refresh, refresh this, and it doesn't work. So what are we going to do is to install some Ember add-on to support the sus and the ember CLI command can help us to do that. Let's kill this job and do ember install ember CLI sus. So after the package installed, we will need to go to the ember CLI build to set up some option in here to explicitly say we're going to use SCSS. So we we'll do sus options and then gonna change the extension to the scss and let's save it so let's run our project again ember s
and let's refresh the page you will see the color changes apply to our application well that's pretty much about the first tutorial hit the like button if you love it and subscribe to the channel if you want more in the next video I will talk about ember routing system see you next time peace